Okay, so under guided practice here, this is page 382. I'm going to go ahead and do a problem with you. Problem number one, it says write each fraction as a decimal. Use bar notation if needed. So 7 ninths, I'm going to go ahead and bear with me. I'm learning this. Cowboy horse, who goes in? That 7 better go in, guys. Drop a decimal. Nine can't go into seven, so I'll put a zero. I'll subtract the seven, bring down my zero. This will be seven times 63. I subtract, I get a seven. Notice how the seven is showing up. I'll put down one more zero, seven. And this is 63, and again the seven. But I'm going to stop because I know that seven is going to continue. So where do you suppose I'm going to put the bar notation? Do I put it underneath just on top of one seven or both sevens? And hopefully you wrote it just with one seven because the sevens are repeating. If I do one more with you, Problem number three is negative. This is a mixed fraction. I need to make it an improper. So I will go ahead and plant the times in the plus. Six times two is 12, plus five is 17. 17 over six, it's a negative. If it's a negative problem, it's gonna have a negative answer. So remember that. So we're gonna cowboy horse this. 17 goes in. And you're saying, geez, Miss Prohaska, you need to take care of your nails. I need to paint my nails, you're right. All right, so here we are. Six will go into one zero times. Six will go into 17 two times. I'm putting my negative number, negative symbol up there already, so be careful. And you subtract. And a five and a zero, make that an eight. Hopefully you're doing the math correctly with me if you haven't done this already. Two, bring down a zero. Uh, three times, 18. Oh, look at that, that two is showing up. I'll do it one more time. One more three. Okay, so notice that my three showed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this because I know it got messy for you. Zero dot two, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Zero two dot eight three bar notation over the three. I have two threes up here. I don't need two threes. This bar notation on top of the three tells me that the three continues to go on. So I'm going to give you a homework assignment. It is right here, lesson four. Uh, I'll go ahead and edit it for you. We'll go ahead and just do uh, maybe 10 problems to see how you're doing with bar notation. This is a pencil paper. I mean, hopefully you have pencils at home. Uh, you may work the problem on this sheet of paper or show your work. I do want you to show your work on a separate sheet of paper and attach it to the original and then bring it back to me, hopefully uh, when you can. Thank you, miss y'all.